Hey guys, welcome to lesson 13, Neti Neti with Circumstances. Neti Neti is an ancient Vedic practice that works by means of negation. In other words, Neti Neti simply means not this, not that. So one of the very valid ways, one of the very direct ways to find your way into the truth of your being is not so much to try to find the truth of your being, although that's one way, we could call that the positive way or the convert the confirming, the affirming way. But there is also the negating way, the way of negation, which means that you start to see everything that you are not, everything that is not true, everything that is not eternal, everything that is not stable and changeless, everything that is not what you really are. So by observing all these things that you have associated yourself with throughout the entirety of your life, by letting them pass, onto the field of your consciousness and also letting them go, letting them come and go and seeing with each appearance and disappearance that since you are over here observing them, you cannot possibly be these things, not ultimately. You are the greater self and these appearances are appearances of the greater self. They are in a sense extensions of the greater self. They are manifestations of presence energy, which is directly also your energy. However, it's not the truth of who you are. If we have to make that discernment, at least for now we have to make that discernment, until we come back all the way into Enlightenment 3 where we will collide the experiences with the experiencer and see that our true self and the experiences we experience are not at all separate. But for the purpose of initial discovery of our true self, it's very, very helpful to first clearly see that we are not the things we've assumed ourselves to be. Because if we are on this sort of so-called spiritual path and we don't realize all these assumptions, we don't clearly see all the assumptions that we have about what we are, all these contractions, all these constrictions, then it's kind of challenging. It's kind of hard to clearly come to a direct realization and conviction of what is true and to really feel liberated by that, to really feel clear in that. So in order to clarify the truth of who you are, in the next handful of lessons, you will be applying this neti neti meditation, which I'll explain in this lesson, onto the different aspects of your experience, your human experience, so circumstances, emotions, thoughts, relationships, etc. And as you go through that process of doing the neti neti meditation, of seeing I am, so this appearance that I've assumed myself to be is not what I am. And then to hold on to the I am and to let go of the appearances over and over again is a very powerful way of actually confirming what you are by negating what you're not. And so this chapter, chapter three, and especially the next handful of lessons are kind of like a boot camp. They're kind of like practice oriented, observation oriented. They're kind of masculine in that sense, kind of yogic in nature. So it's all about just meditating on the idea that you are not what you perceive, but you are the perceiver, or you are the presence itself, but you're not so much the appearances that come and go. If you do follow through with these exercises in the next handful of lessons, I promise you, you will get a much clearer sense, a much more experiential sense of your independence. What do I mean by that? I mean that the I am is independent from the this, from the I am this. And when we see that the I am exists no matter what, exists no matter what this appears, no matter what appearances appear onto the field of presence, if we can really sort of identify with the presence of I am itself and let everything else come and go, it's a very powerful entrance point into getting to know our immortal, eternal nature. And so these practices will have you actually sit down and perform this meditation. And so I really encourage you to take your time and to actually go through the motions of this type of practice. So these handful of lessons, again, are more meditation oriented rather than recognition oriented, where recognition is that momentary everyday recognition of what is true, which obviously you can continue to do. 
but the purpose of these lessons is to really take some time out of your day and to meditate on this, to repeatedly recognize within a set duration of time this truth that you are, that you are I am, and that the appearances simply come and go, and that they do not actually define your I am, that your I am exists independent of these appearances. And when you see that, everything else will become so much easier. And also, usually I don't give many meditations like that. But so it's really important at this stage, I feel that you give that a try anyway. Like later on, you can, you can ditch it completely. You can never ever return to this particular lesson, to this particular practice, because it's a little more, like I said, masculine or hardcore in nature, more like a spiritual seeker would exercise. Nevertheless, I think that for everyone, regardless of your background and intention, it's highly valuable to have at least experienced some degree of that sort of yogic composure where you actually sit down and you force yourself to meditate on something, to clearly realize something. I think this attitude will allow you to discover certain things about yourself and cultivate qualities that otherwise would not be as much cultivated. And they will actually serve you throughout the future courses and lessons, even though maybe this is not something that you wish to continue to do for a very long period of time. So make use of this opportunity now while I guide you, while I take you by the hand, because you know probably it's unlikely, maybe not, but it might be unlikely that you personally out of your own volition return to this and continue to practice in this way. So take the next couple of weeks to really, really allow me to take you by the hand with these meditations and just do them. That is my heartfelt recommendation. And just know in advance that the future lessons and future courses will be more mellow. They'll be more balanced. They'll be more recognition oriented. But for now, try this out. See if it works.